was staying at a way station. Somebody was working on a truck next to me last night and they were knocking on my door. I said, fuck. While you and me repeat This bittersweet heat Is suffocating I'm waiting And always hesitating Kryptonite desires Set my heart afire Heart on fire Set my heart afire I am on a load going to Illinois. It is almost 6 a.m. My 10 hour break is up around 7 a.m. Maybe a little earlier than that. So I'm ready for the day. I'm gonna make me a cup of coffee. First, I'm going to stretch and exercise. I'm currently at a waste station. They have a dumpster here, thank God. I'll get rid of my trash. Today I'm gonna be using chains to work out outside. I'm gonna be doing 20 reps. 20 reps of the, um, the chain squats. After the chain squats, I'm gonna be doing 20 jump squats. And what I learned about this whole process is if you don't have any muscle, you're gonna be it's gonna take longer for you to see results. And I don't always stay on my diet. Yesterday I had a really bad day. I, this week's been kind of rough. So yesterday I had a bag of chips. I had two energy drinks, just a bunch of junk yesterday. So I'm gonna throw that shit away and uh, start fresh. My fuel for the week is going to be chicken thighs and broccoli. I'm just gonna give that a quick stir tonight. On my 30 minute break, I'm gonna be having dragon fruit with nuts. It looks like I only have about 50 minutes until I gotta roll, which is plenty of time. What I do, is a little bit every day even if it's 10 minutes 15 minutes 30 minutes keeping it simple is what gets me going what gets me consistent all right so i'm in the sleeper i'm gonna go off duty okay shut that baby off
Okay, this one is still good. Today's also laundry day, so when I stop, it's gonna be at a Loves. They have laundry facilities where I'm going. Well, I can shower there and get ready for the receiver. Didn't work out on the other side. I could just would have been more work. <sighs> yeah, I think I could do ten push-ups. today because I did not do very well on my diet yesterday. I had like four chicken strips. Chicken tenders. <sighs> Watch DOT. Give me an inspection. Alright. Ten, ten regular and ten diamond. Two. Three. Four. Five. sister starting to work out a little bit which is really good because it's a way to utilize shit that's on your mind it's a, it's a way to turn stress into something that's gonna benefit you like pent up energy is one thing that I feel a lot of truck drivers deal with out here when you don't I was doing a lot of research on this right and they were saying that our ancestors would move their bodies to hunt to gather to survive so now in this day and age we sit on our ass to in a cubicle in a truck we're all doing it nowadays so the body is not being utilized the way it's structured to to be so when you exercise and you give the body what it needs it's beneficial but if you want to Take your um, trauma. If you want to take your trauma and deal with it, the best way to do it is to build muscle. We've all been through some bullshit one way or another, right? There's no 
there's trauma, like mental pain, and then there's bodybuilding. When you bodybuild and you feel your muscles burn, they don't tear, they don't, they're not, it's not like an, an ouch pain, it's like a holy fuck pain. Holy fuck. I never used to train legs until recently. So I was like, I want to build a lot of muscle on my lower body because I never had that. My genetics really, are really bad. So I, I start to do squats and trigger the muscle groups I want triggered. And that pain, or that burn, that burn fucking hurts. Because it's like the, the pain comes. When the pain comes, and you're facing it, it tells you, you're gonna give up, right? It hurts, right? You're gonna quit, right? And you gotta say no. You gotta like, tell, you gotta tell yourself, it's not gonna win, I'm gonna win. So you do like 10 more reps until complete failure. <laughs> Rock bottom. My dream is to be out here, save as much money as I need to, find something local or like a badass job. I'm going to take my sweet ass time too. I love OTR, but I really want to buy a home and focus on jujitsu. I want to focus on uh, gardening jujitsu. I want to live off my own land. I'll still use like solar power energy and stuff. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but my step number one is to save as much as I need. Then I'm gonna invest in my first home, solar energy if I can, garden, and do jujitsu. Ju Live real simple. I don't, I don't mind not having the best car or I want like a little cottage real cute house nothing too big <sighs> but we'll see I guess I will make myself a cup of coffee I got a lot of time left I still have a long way to go when it comes to this, this truck is really really cool but I've been dealing with some like technical issues when it comes to my dash cam. I have a dash cam set up and didn't want to work because the power source, I didn't want to take off the dash because I'm a girl. Girls don't do that. I guess girls do do that, but I'm not gonna lie, like, sometimes I'm like, I wish I, that's the only reason why I would love a boyfriend. Like, babe, can you fix this? <laughs> I don't like doing that on, on my own. But I have to learn, so. I'm using the uh, lighter, cigarette lighter for a power source when it comes to my dash cam. I'm gonna be screwing them on top of my mirror for security too because like last night these douchebags were working on the truck and banging and chiseling in the fucking 11 at night <sighs> I could deal with the noise but don't be banging on my door I need a sticker it says you're not welcome or Knock, knock. Who's there? Don't be fucking knocking or something. Doing a little jog. I'm gonna jog from there all the way around. I think like one lap. I'm gonna get it in. What I'm really trying to do right now is establish or Gain, gain confidence uh, fighting the fear 
Because I'm not going to lie, like going to the gym is way easier than running in public or, or doing squats in public. But let's get her done. Some people ain't got no legs, like Lieutenant Dan. So I run to share, to show my gratitude. That's for you, Lieutenant Dan.